20th of August we celebrate the heritage, Ballyfermer heritage. But on the 22nd of August, two days away, we also celebrate an occasion in Irish history going back 100 years. And for my part in this, just put two small poems together as a remembrance. One you'll know, the other you won't know. <laughs> the Corlew stood alone and in silence beside a long, damp grass. And he looked down the road that led its way through Wailnup Law. And he could see soldiers coursing, swearing, ducking, weaving, avoiding the bullets that rained down upon them from the hillside. The firing stopped and a terrible silence hung over the valley. A young man dressed in green great coat, leggings, hobnail boots that would never again set the sparks flying on the kitchen stone floors as he danced his way through a half set. The firing started again in an act of contrition and the corlew flies into the air he is to tell Ireland, and indeed the world, that the big fella had fallen, and Michael was no more. Now that was 19, August 1922, but in August 1952, the era came to Valley Ferment. It was a different story because lesser men had tried to rub the name of Michael Collins out of history. And the second part, which I don't think you'd have ever heard goes, Father, who was Michael Collins? Asked my son the other day. Well, you asked the history teacher, he just turned his head away. We are brainwashed with abstractions and pop songs, nonsense, rhymes. When can't that book be opened that is labelled troubled times? And my son, I softly answered, there were centuries of night. And this man, Michael Collins, came to lift us to our heights. Our tattered troops stood ten feet tall, dressed in Irish green. But the bugle note still haunts me yet that hung in that August sky. You ask me, who is Michael Collins? He's your heritage, my son. Thank you.